Good evening all. Today we're going to actually feature a couple of cars, two for the price of one, so to speak. <laughs> this first one is a 1980 Rolls-Royce Silver Wraith II. And not a lot of you will know that in the very last year of production, there was a rather small number of them made with fuel injection. These cars were required and destined for California and they're uh, identified by the VIN which has the letter C on the end, C for California. This one's a real beauty, 35 thousand original miles finished in walnut with a cream vinyl top that uh, matches the interior which sort of has the reverse theme of being cream with chocolate piping the other notable visual features on the fuel injected cars you'll see on the bottom here see that You've got the two exhaust pipes. If this was a non-fuel injected Wraith 2 or Shadow 2, it would have the dual pipes just on one side. This car was specially ordered with unique fine lines, cream colored to match the top and the interior and gold on the bottom. This is a factory order. The car was owned originally from new by a rather famous American footballer. And you would think that before I took this video, I would check his name and right now I don't remember who it is. Look at the wood, we refinished the wood, it's beautiful. But everything else on the interior is all original. The leather, for you guys that follow me regularly, you'll know how much I rave on about original leather. And this is all super original soft leather where you can see the original lux and grain that burnished look in the creases, which to some people might think it looks a little dirty, which in fact was the underlying reason why Rolls-Royce stopped doing it in 84, you can see it there. But in fact, this is part of the look. The whole idea is to provide a rather antique look to the leather grain. Let's see if I can capture it here. There you go, you can see it there. Sort of, the leather was made in hide form and then a darker color was rubbed in like a burnishing look. And this is featured throughout the whole car. A little hard to see in this lighting, but Rest assured, it truly is beautiful. The original owner, an African-American footballer, very famous in the 70s, went on to become one of the US's largest Ford dealerships. And uh, perhaps later on in the comments section, I'll add his name. So I do apologize that I've forgotten his name. The other car I want to show you is a 73 Silver Shadow. This one's finished in a lovely combination of Scott Pine of a Lark not larks, but a larch green, Scotch pine over larch green. This car is completely original. Never, 
ever been repainted, which is very unusual for a silver shadow with metallic paint. A lot of you will already know that even though Rolls Royces were beautiful cars from new, their paint technology didn't really grab the uh, highest ratings because they used single stage, but uh, which meant that over time they would uh, require repainting. Most silver shadows today, 40, 50 years on, have been repainted. It does have a lot of the signature little blemishes in the paint that happened. These are what we call lead wiping stress marks. Once again, for those of you who know Silver Shadow, this is very common. This car has a little bit more than you might expect because being completely original. I personally would not redo it, but some people might find the marks a little bit much. And so when this car gets offered for sale, we're quite happy to uh, refinish that for anyone who may be interested. Excuse the advert on the radio in the background. That classical music was nice before the ad started. <laughs> Interior is completely original. All the wood, never redone. Couple of small marks in the wood, but there's one much lower than one would expect for a car of this year. Remember, it's a 73. Beautifully finished with beige, green carpets, and the green moutons. <clears throat> Excuse me. A little hard to see in this light. Same thing again. Leather has not been refinished. It's uh, all the original Vormal hide and uh, still retaining all its suppleness. <coughs> Excuse me. Original radio, push button radio, eight track. Very minimal marks in the wood on the dash. So we're in good shape there. And pretty much the wood overall rates is a good nine out of 10. The back wood, as you can see, pretty much has no fault. So pretty surprising for a completely original example. Love this combination of the uh, green wool and wool with the beige which of course ties in nicely with the outside color. Look at these rugs underneath, very clean. Rugs in good shape. Got the footrests. One of my pet hates for those that follow me. Footrests belong on the floor. These are the footrests. These are mat pockets. One of the most ridiculous things I see is when people do this and think this is where you put the mat, the uh, footrest. You never put the footrest in the mat pocket. Besides the fact that's like putting your shoes on top of the kitchen counter, um, which is just disgusting. The reality is the uh, by putting the uh, footrest in here, you stretch the leather and these don't bounce back the way they do. So whenever you see that on a car for sale or someone has, let them know. If the car's for sale, certainly by a dealer, you can pretty much tell that they have no idea about Rolls Royce. Good little trick. <laughs> to learn. So this year's 73. This car's got the original fine lines in gold, twin fine lines. And look how beautiful the Scots pine goes with the large green. A few little marks here you can see again. But otherwise a very strong 
luster to the car, very shiny. All the chrome work, glass, very nice. And I have to add, in closing, this car is very, very special to me. And that is because I bought her back recently. She was the very first Rolls-Royce Silver Shadow that I purchased when I first moved to the United States. It was a sheer coincidence that I came across this car. And so it's an absolute delight, not to mention the nostalgia of this being the very first Rolls-Royce Silver Shadow that kicked off Park Ward Motors in the United States. A lot of you know I had Park Ward Motors in Australia, so of course I had many, many cars before this one, but this was the first one for America. So there we have it tonight, folks. A 1973 Rolls-Royce Silver Shadow, Scott's Pine over Larch Green, um, and an absolute darling Silver Wraith II fuel-injected model, 35,000 original miles, finished in walnut with a beige top. <laughs> Look how beautiful it glittens, glistens. I love it how you catch the reflection of the lights. You can only see that in a car with a high luster. So, most of you know me, but if you, for those of you that don't, my name is Rod Sala, and you can reach me at park-ward.com.